All right, I need to go ahead and start this now. It's a little, a little, uh, a little bit late. It's uh, 2:30. What's going on, everybody? It is uh, Justin or AKA Dum Dum here for you. For a, uh, got some something kind of cool today. Well, for us it is. It is uh, 70 degrees outside right now, and it is uh, Sunday, March 3rd. So. Uh, so this is really our first really nice day. It's actually supposed to be nice tomorrow too, but um, we don't have a babysitter tomorrow. So Alyssa came over today and she parked right there and she's gonna watch Lake for us. So today is the first ride, first, first motorcycle ride, right? And the dirt bike's gone right now cause it's actually getting uh, suspension work done because if you know anything about dirt bike riding, you know that dirt bikes from the factory are kind of set up for like, I don't know the exact weight. I'm just going to say somewhere between 160 and 185 pound rider, you know? So, um, which I'm a little bit above that. <laughs> um, two right now, two, what am I? Two, uh, 262, 263. And, um, so obviously I need to get uh, heavier, <laughs> bigger springs and stuff, fat boy springs for the bike. And cause that last race we raced in the sand, man. And my lower back hurt for a week after that bottom and out everywhere. So, um, so today we're going on a motorcycle ride, but, uh, that's what I, that's what I said. I haven't, we haven't done an update in a while. I'll hold my rest of my arm up from the windshield of the bike, but we haven't, my nose is running again. I'm sorry. I don't, this weather going from, 60 to 40 to back to 60 and it's just a mess but uh i've said that bef before to every you know people at the gym and stuff but you know i lost the the main um the main bulk of my weight when i was in uh amy's calling me when i was a sophomore in high school so i, I lost about 100 pounds almost 100 pounds like 90 something pounds um uh, in my sophomore year of high school until I was a senior. So about two years. And, um, I was always scared to eat cause I didn't know what to eat. I didn't want to get big again. I need something on the camera. Here. I didn't know what to eat cause I didn't want to get big. And, um, so I started training with Trey in, uh, 2013, uh, almost 11 years ago, started eating and, um, messing with different diets and stuff, you know, over the years. And, I've done a pretty a pretty good job of keeping the weight off. Um, so, rewind when I quit SNUS, you know, not this past December, but the December before, you know, I quit SNUS and I put on about 10, 12 pounds, uh, maybe even around 15 pounds from quitting that. So, th th obviously that was an issue, um, having trouble, you know, because right after we eat dinner at night, you know, all I want to do is put a SNUS in and relax. You know, people that dip know that and, uh, and anyways, so I had to deal with that. And then I had to deal with, um, you know, mom passing away. And uh, and obviously I've never been through anything like this before. So at night when I'm catching myself doing now as I'm catching, um, I'm overeating. I've been overeating since, since the day that it happened with mom. And I think I'm using it as like a, a comfort, you know, um, you know, to help me come, I, I, I eat till I'm stuffed, you know, till my stomach's full and it makes me feel, I don't, I don't know what it, I don't, I have no idea why I do it, but it has to get under control. So like I've showed in the past couple of videos, I've, I got this alpha stuff. Oh, I just dropped it off of uh, Amazon and it's doing okay. But I mean, it's just not the same. It, it's freaking like energy pouches. It's not nicotine or tobacco, but anyways, that was a long winded story to tell you. Yes. I, <laughs> I know I'm gaining weight and, um, I, I want to be around 245, around 245 is where I feel good through the summer. So I was getting at is normally in the winter, I've always eaten all winter long. And then right about February, I start dieting to slim back down for summer. So I'm attempting to do that. Um, so it's just harder this time. Um, but that's why the, the dirt bike's gone. And, um, anyways, it's a long winded story, but so the bike has been sitting since, um, October, November, or something like that, and it's uh, it's been sitting. So, yeah, pulled out. Probably checked the air in the tires real quick, and um, I mean it's gonna be dusty and dirty, but 
Uh, should be an awful nice, nice, awful nice uh, riding day. It's a mess in here. We still got the the cart is still here from the race. Got to put that back in the cistern, and then still got to get my gear packed up and put it back in the riding bag. I just washed my boots, my riding boots, and my helmet. It's over at Dad's house. Here's the trophy from the last icebreaker race. I think the next one is sometime in this month. I can't remember when, but it's sometime in this month. But anyways, let's get the bike pulled out and get her going. I gotta show the whole point of the whole point of the video is here is uh, I don't think they've ever seen this bike, have they, Garen? So Garen got this a year ago. Yeah, yeah, a year ago. I got it a year ago. So it's a twenty-two or three. Is it? It's a 2023 690 S SMC R. So I guess it's basically like a supermoto bike. Huh? I can't remember if it is or not. I'm pretty sure it is. How many miles you got on it? Uh, 23.94. Wow. 2300 miles? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? You like it? This is like a, well, it's not like a dirt bike with street street tires on it, I guess. I rode it all the way to West Virginia last year. On the seat, right? Not on this seat. You on, didn't? On that seat concept, the seat. Yeah. You got rid of that seat? I got, I still have it. Oh, it just doesn't look as good as this. It looks ugly. This is where the gas can, gas tank is back here, though. That is? Yeah. You got to get, open it up. How you open it? He's done a... Modification? No, that's a gas cap. Huh. Well, he's got to get the fancy one. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, think that's going to go away. It ain't right. It ain't right. How do you get it on there? There we go. There it is. There we go. Then it's got a plate. And I think the only thing you've really done to it is put this exhaust on there, right? Yep. And then those. Off of the, the stand? Yeah. The one thing he hasn't done, I don't think he's washed it in over a year. Look at the rear wheel. <laughs> It didn't have any tunes. The tunes are out for it now, finally. I can tune it now. Oh, are you going to do that? Yeah. So, I'm sorry. What are you going to do to that? Tune it. Back an hour and a half. I forget. You know what you got to do to that? I'm back in the ride. What are you going to do? Rottweiler. Rottweiler. You got to put a Rottweiler intake on it. You put a... They got a card data and all that. There's a nerd of gurus of it. And I'll end up calling you. Guess who just got an 890, a 20, five hundred dollars or something like that. Huh? A 2024 890, yeah. KTM, Joey from Climax. Did yeah. Did he, get, did he get the supermoto one? No, he got the 890. Did, did they make they a supermoto? Super 890 now. They do not have a supermoto 890. Oh, yeah, they they do. No, they don't. This and an 890. Yeah. Well, Garen, you're gonna get a new bike. Go out there and look. Grandpa, that's not a thing. They don't have that in an 890, do yeah, they really? They do. I'm telling you, they do. I went out there and sat on it. Aaron's going to look it up. <coughs> I don't think they do. An 890, just like this. It's an 890, okay, which, uh, and it's set up with supermoto suspension, like that, but it doesn't look like that. Okay? Oh, what's it look like? It looks like an 890. Is it? Oh, damn, that's not. That's not the same bike. It's an 890 with super motor cars on <laughs> But we checked the air pressure tire. This thing's leaking oil because it's a Harley. And uh, it's leaking oil, right? Right, though. There, you can see right there. I gotta get it over to Harley for maintenance, anyways, coming into the season. So. But anyways, that's the. Uh, we never made a video on it, but it's windy as crap under this here. We just got gas in Sunoco, but we haven't made a video on it yet, but that's Karen's, uh, he got that a year ago. So it's pretty cool. It's just like a, it's just like a, I uh, guess you got a battery tender here you can plug it into, but it's about like a dirt bike. You can ride it about like a, about just like a dirt bike, but on the street. So it's pretty fun. So anyways, that was the, that's what I wanted to show you all we never made a video on it there's actually a couple other things we haven't made a video on but you gotta stay tuned for that we're still we're behind but now it's 3 30 and uh, oh yeah i just got my um 
tattoo touched up the heart a little bit the red you can see it's kind of flaking a little bit but yesterday is it yesterday no friday down at uh um uh, whatever the name of that place is asylum so anyways we're gonna go it is uh definitely uh nipply out right now it's freezing even though it's 70 it's definitely cold on the road so i don't know how long we're gonna make it but we're gonna try to do our best cost uh six dollars and 69 cents to fill the bike up so we're gonna take off before it gets too cold You feeding them, Mike? How y'all doing today? Doing all right on this nice day? Whoa. Uh -oh. Fighting. 
What's up, dude? Blake, you like feeding them? Yeah, I like feeding them. Ow! They nibble you? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm fighting. Oh, we're just trying to get out. Got some grass growing. Brantley's got a rut in the backyard back here. I'll show you all that here in a second. You keep feeding them? Hey, hey. you all right? There you go, just like that, see? Boy, you're very hungry. They're starving. Come on, back over here for a second. Lake, I'm gonna walk over here for a second. So, it's windy up here. As you can tell, we got back from the ride. Uh, we rode, I don't know, like, 70 miles or something like that not real far it was absolutely freezing so uh definitely need to let it warm up about 10 degrees before we actually start riding riding but uh so i wanted to explain to y'all garen's bike that he's got this is the same exact bike as that but i think this is a i think this might be like a 2018 or a 2019 i can't remember garen's is a 23 but so this is a 690R. And so this is like their uh, Enduro R. This is like KTM's adventure version. So this is a 690. This is the same motor that's in Garen's bike. Um, you can tell it's set up the same. It's got the, the pipe coming out of this side. He's got the same pipe Garen does. So this is the same exact bike as Garen's. This is just an adventure bike. So if y'all remember, I think it was on this, it's on this channel way a ways back. Dad got a brand new, uh, man, what year was that bike? I know y'all have to let me know in the comments. Um, it was an 890 adventure bike. And last year, um, dad and our other brother, Eddie, um, Eddie sold his, he had a KTM 1290 adventure bike. And then for reference, you can just Google this stuff and see what they see what it looks like or whatever. But Eddie had a KTM 1290 and dad had that 890 adventure bike. Well, dad wanted something smaller and so did Eddie. So dad got this one. This one was uh, used. I think Eddie's was used too. I, I don't know. Eddie's might've been new, but so they got these. So they're almost like a step up from I would say a dirt bike. That's about the size they are. So, like, so dad sold his 890 last year and Eddie sold his and they both got these. So Eddie's is a little bit different. I can't, his is maybe a year or two newer than this bike, a little bit different graphics and stuff. So, but that's what they were, dad was talking about at the gas station. That Rottweiler stuff. Dad's got all that all over his bike. So, so that's pretty cool. Hard parts for tough travel made in the USA. So my nose is running. It's uh like 62 out now. I got a little colder. I don't know how many miles is on this bike. I don't know how how was Garen doing that. The gas station distance. Oh, there we go. Maybe 2,658. Nope. Odometer. There it is. 4,184. Okay, Dad got some miles on this thing. But that's what I wanted to uh, explain to y'all. So I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. I asked Garen. We talked about it. I, we never really. I don't think showed Garen's bike. So if we did, we did. But um, I just wanted to let y'all know what uh, what went on there. So so this is uh, basically the same thing. Like I said. So we split off. We. Um, uh, trying to say garen split off up at uh ed and Lori's ed and Lori's uh subdivision and and then we came home and i grabbed lake and we ride around up and down the street and she likes to play with the goats and stuff so it's nice out but anyways that's that hopefully y'all enjoyed it amy <laughs> went inside and got uh, uh right in the shower because it's she's free it's cold but um Hopefully we'll have a lot of, <coughs> a 
a lot of motorcycle riding this year and then of course dirt bike races and you know everything everything goes on this channel but appreciate you all um really do um subscribe here subscribe to the bell life bangs subscribe to uh wait a minute ask the bell life and then subscribe or not subscribe check out the uh the bell life.com where we uh still upload three days a week on there too so all the links will be down in the description below but um that's the the ktm verdict and personally um myself i'm not a huge a huge fan of this uh it's an adventure thing you know they like going on them adventure rides so it's like they ride on i don't know i just think, i know they're like on gravel roads and like some smaller trails and stuff but i either like um either dirt bikes or street bike you know what i mean either we're going dirt bike riding or we're going street bike riding you know motorcycle riding whatever you want to call it but uh so these are kind of like in between hybrid bikes between a dirt bike and a and a motorcycle and it's like you know they got knobs and stuff on them so you really don't want to take them motorcycle riding they're not like a legit street bike you know this bike garen's bike yeah he can ride it all the time because he's got actual street bike tires but this has got you know like almost like dirt bike tires in a way on there so anyways just wanted to explain that see y'all turned the camera off and realized we didn't even show garen's bike running so amy is going to put a little time lapse in the video but it's too windy so but this like i said this is the same bike um there's garen's uh the same motor and stuff and he's got the same pipe on it dad's got a big dent in his right there and a scratch uh but they both sound about the about the same see dad's got this fancy gas cap where garen's was and all, his and all that but he's got this thing this box on here but i guess it's handy tire pressure gauge but i'll start her up and let you hear her. fire it up dude That's what it sounds like.